Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the celebration of today Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly seen in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts, we may merit to attain eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. <clears throat> A reading from the book of the Ecclesiastes. There is a point in time for everything, and a time for everything under the heavens, a time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to uproot the plant, a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to tear down, and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to be far from embraces, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away, a time to reign and a time to sow. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time to war of war and a time of peace. What advantage has the worker from his toil? I have considered the task that God has appointed for the sons of men to be busy about. He has made everything appropriate to its time and has put the timeless into their hearts without men's ever discovering from beginning to end the work which God has done. The Word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, my mercy is my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust. Lord, what is man? that you notice him, the son of man, that you take thought of him. Man is like a bread, his days like a passing shadow. Alleluia, 
Alleluia, Alleluia. The Son of Man came to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Once, when Jesus was praying in solitude and the disciples were with him, he asked them, Who do the crowds say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others, one of the ancient prophets has arisen. Then he said to them, but who do you say that I am? Peter said in reply, the Christ of God. He rebuked them and directed them not to tell this to anyone. He said to the Son of Men, must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests and the scribes, and be killed and on the third day be raised. The Gospel of the Lord. Time is a gift from God. To appreciate this gift more, I invite you to do a simple exercise. You have to find a, tick a ticking clock. You can always search ticking clock sound on YouTube. Listen to the ticking for several minutes. Do nothing else, just listen. Be aware of both the ticking sound and the silence between every tick. Remember, every tick indicates the passing of a moment of time and a moment of your life. After listening, ask yourself how the experience felt coming irritating, boring, interesting. Assuming that every tick represents one second, so how many ticks have you lived so far? Remember, one year equals 31,536,000 seconds. How many ticks do you estimate that you have left to live? How have you chosen to spend your ticks so far? Sleeping, working, eating, relaxing, talking, listening, reading, playing, praying. Is there something you would like to devote more ticks to in the future? Dear God, my life is in your hands. Grant us by your spirit the wisdom to know when it is time to plant and when to uproot, when it is time to tear down and to build, to keep and to throw away. May we know when it is time to weed and mourn, and where is time to laugh and dance. Amen.
We lift our joys and our sorrows to our merciful Father and ask that he hear our prayers. We pray for Pope Francis, our Bishop Timothy, the clergy, clergy especially with for Father Tom Lynch and lay ministers. May the Holy Spirit continue to guide them in faith and hope. Let us pray to the Lord. For elected officials and those who advise them, may the wisdom of the Lord imbue their work for the common good and care for the vulnerable. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who are suffering because of violence or hatred, may God restore peace and security again to their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. For this faith community, may God give us the courage to use our gifts to bear good fruit from the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died, knowing that Jesus is the Christ of God, may they enjoy the light of God's love for eternity. Let us pray to the Lord. Now I invite you to take a moment to pray for our own special needs. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, we turn to you with our prayers and petitions. Have mercy on us and grant we ask of you through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, you were through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare you glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are in that holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the doful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be giving up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim you dead, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ.
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Let us pray the spiritual communion for those who cannot be in the church. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As I thought you have already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Alleluia. The body of Christ.
let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Have a blessed day, everyone. Para todos, un bendecido día.